Okay, you can see here I've got myself the Easy Run Brushless Upgrade Kit. Um, this kit is meant for pretty much all 1 10th scale RC cars. Um, and I'm going to be adding this to my Sunfire here. My Sunfire originally comes with a brushed motor, 540 brushed motor. And it's not... It's pretty good for basic running around, but when you want something really fast, you're going to need to upgrade to a brushless motor. Um, and when you get the kit, it comes with your instructions. You get your program card. The program card is meant to properly program your ESC, your electronic speed controller. Um, and then you also have your brushless motor down here. The brushless motor itself um, is pretty cool. It's all sealed up. Uh, the only holes are your bolt holes in the bottom, as well as just little holes where the wire goes in. Other than that, it's all sealed up, so you don't have to worry about the dirt getting in there. Uh, your connector's already soldered on there. It doesn't come with a gear, but you can reuse the gear off your stock motor. Um, so the ESC here, it's a 35 amp ESC. Uh, it comes with all your connectors soldered on, including a Dean's connector. Uh, you got your little on-off switch right here. It's got a fan up on top. Um, the bottom of it's all sealed up. So you don't have to worry about any kind of moisture or dirt getting up in there. Uh, that's pretty handy there. And uh, one of the other things that I really, really like about this upgrade kit is this upgrade kit will allow me to run both nickel metal hydride batteries. I can run up to a 9-cell nickel metal hydride battery. And I can also run lithium polymer batteries. This is an, It'll handle up to a 3-cell lithium polymer battery, which is an 11.1 volt. Uh, that's actually what this is, uh, and again, this will give me a little bit more power, a little bit longer run times, because with this upgrade kit, you are going to want to use a bigger battery, otherwise you're going to have some very short run times. Um, in the program card here, uh, this will let you change a whole bunch of settings on the ESC. Uh, there's 11 settings in total that you can change, and I'll go over some of them a little bit later with you. Okay, installing the uh, brushless upgrade motor, um, all you got to do is basically take out your old one, mount your new one, um, and again, this is the gear from my original motor, so you can go ahead and just swap that over, mount it up, uh, bolt it in place, and then go ahead and put the ESC in. Okay, I just went ahead and stuck my ESC right here. Um, now, what I failed to mention earlier is it does come with a little package uh, of double-sided tape, um, some tape for your ESC, as well as some uh, little piece of tape for your on-off switch. Okay, the program card here. Now, all the instructions... Uh, everything that you can adjust is really clearly explained here in the manual, uh, but I'll just go over it real quickly. The first value, uh, number one, the running mode, this basically will let you select whether or not you have reverse. Uh, number two, drag force brake. This means when you let off your throttle, how fast the car slows down. The higher the number, the faster it will slow down. Uh, low voltage cutoff, this is meant for lithium polymer batteries. Um, lithium polymer batteries, you really never want to vo drain them be below 3.7 volts per cell. Now on here you can set this to automatically cut off at certain voltages. Now the highest voltage you can go up to is 3.4 volts per cell, which is still a good cutoff, and that's value 6. So if you plan on running lithium polymers, you are going to want to change that. Um, the On the back here you can see your start mode. This is uh, this is something you're gonna want to leave uh, stock. This is like kind of how much initial punch it has, but too much and you run the risk of breaking gears or whatever. Uh, your brake force. This is how much uh, braking power the car has. The reverse force. This is how much reverse uh, power it has. I changed my initially. It's I believe it's 50%. I uh, prefer to have mine set at 100%, which is value four. Uh, then you have your initial brake force. You can set that to a couple different things. Your neutral range. Neutral range is how much of your throttle here is actually neutral. You can set it so you have wide, you know, uh, 12 degrees of neutral play or actually all the way down to 6 degrees of neutral play. Um, and then uh, you also have your timing. That The timing is because you could actually use this ESC with a lot of different brushless motors. And because brushless motors are all built differently, they have to have different timing modes for different ESCs. Now, this combo is uh, the stock settings work great. So that's not something you're going to have to worry about. Uh, number 10, this is uh, lets you select different types of motors. But with this ESC, it automatically recognizes this is a brushless motor. And the stock settings are on number 1, so you won't have to mess with that either. And then the, the uh, last... Um, thing that you can adjust is your overheat protection 
it's either on or off and you always want it on so that is uh again that's the settings they're really easy to really easy to understand but if you need more details it's right here so but always read your manual and okay anyway. to actually program it just take your wire slip it in the top here there's a little markings up on the top to make sure you put this in the right uh, order then go ahead and plug in the ESC you are going to want to make sure your switch is on you'll see the card light up here okay, this is where you can start going through so item one my running mode I want it on, set on value two number two the value is set on number two which is five percent drag force break that's fine um, number three it's set at one which is no low voltage light bulb cutoff but I want to change that to value six and then click OK. All right, now keep going down. Number four was fine. Number five was fine. Reverse was what I wanted to change. I want to put reverse at full percent. So I'll go to number six and I'm going to put the value up to four. Click OK. And for the rest of it is pretty much where I want to leave it. Um, yeah, so. Okay, and that's it. Just go ahead, unplug, and that is all that's required to properly program your ESC. Okay, with the ESC program, just go ahead and connect the rest of your wires there. Uh, mount your on-off switch if you haven't done else ready, and uh, if for some reason your motor is running reverse from what it should be, you can either, on your transmitter, use the reversing switch or you can just switch any two of the wires. With brushless motors, if they're ever running backwards, all you have to do is switch two wires. Doesn't matter which two, just two. Um, so again, uh, the ESC, I had left, uh, you can see my car's a little bit dirtier now because I actually have tested this since uh, I'm uh, the other part of my video. Um, and again, the, on the ESC here, it tells you all about it in the manual. Um, but the only things that I changed, the original settings, everything was fine. Uh, the only things I changed again were my uh, low voltage cutoff. I set that to value 6, which will cut the uh, voltage off at 3.4 volts per cell, which is as high as you can set it for this ESC. Um, and then the other thing I changed was my how much power I get in reverse. I put that to 100%, and I like that. The only thing else that I would recommend you change is your drag force brake. That means when you let off your throttle, it'll, the higher the value, the more it slows down. Uh, originally, it comes set on 10%, and that's actually fine, but for myself, I had a little accident last night. I was testing it inside, and I didn't take into account how much faster it goes now, and I hit the wall because I didn't you know, break in time. So um, I want it to slow down a little bit faster when I let off the throttle, so I'm going to increase that. Other than that, I, you know, all the stock settings work great. Um, the thing is really fast, and you can see the batteries down here. And I just wanted to point this out. This setup really does want a lot more power, so you're going to want to get yourself a battery with a lot higher capacity to it. Um, these are both 7.2 volt nickel metal hydride battery packs, but this one is an 1800 milliamp, and this one is a 4000 milliamp. Now, this battery pack is going to be good with this setup for about two minutes or three minutes of full out run time. This one, on the other hand, you're going to be looking at more up to the seven, eight, nine minute run time. Um, but with this brushless upgrade kit is really fast. Uh, like I said, I mean, you can see this dirty. I did some testing and it is fast. It, again, this will fit on pretty much all 110 scale cars um, and it's a complete kit. Uh, so definitely look into it. This thing is crazy fast.